NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang has visited India for five days earlier this month. This visit has a lot of significance and it can potentially change the artificial intelligence industry within India. In this video, we are talking about how NVIDIA is important for the entire artificial intelligence industry. Number two, what are the significant deals that were cracked during this visit? And number three, what are some of the business lessons and what are some of the courses that you and I can do and benefit from this particular event. So let's get started with a simple example. Imagine Mukesh Ambani wants to build ChatGPT, the entire large language model for India. What are the ingredients that Mukesh Ambani needs? He needs a lot of talented artificial intelligence developers. Number two, he needs a lot of data. Of course, if there is anybody in India who has the data, it is Mukesh Ambani. So he has not too many problems over there. The third place, is actually he needs the infrastructure to compute, to hold these kind of calculations. If Mukesh Ambani is running these things on your laptop or my laptop, the laptop itself cannot hold, it will just hang. You need advanced computers to actually perform these kind of calculations. Multiple parallel computations going on at the same time. And that is where NVIDIA's advanced expertise comes into picture. NVIDIA manufactures GPUs. Of course, these are different from the CPUs that we have in our desktops and laptops because GPUs can go ahead and perform multiple tasks simultaneously, which are important for running these deep tech, machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms. Now, how is this significant for the Indian market? In the entire trip, NVIDIA has formed two important deals. Number one with Reliance and number two with Infosys and TCS. In case of Reliance, Reliance and Nvidia have come together and made the statement that they are going to build the large language model for India based on Indian data and based on the diverse languages that are spoken in India. And they also mentioned that they are going to build in India the infrastructure required to actually compute these kind of complex and advanced algorithms. And the objective here is to provide this infrastructure as a service so that researchers, educational institutions, even corporates can take this service and build their own tools, can build their own companies. This is going to change the entire landscape of Indian artificial intelligence industry. This also will create a lot of high paying jobs in India, which is one of the most valued commodity in the Indian market, high valued jobs. The second deal is with respect to talent creation. Infosys, TCS and NVIDIA have signed different deals where NVIDIA has mentioned that they are going to open up a center of excellence within Infosys to train 50,000 plus employees on their own models, on their infrastructure so that Infosys can provide these services to their clients at a lower cost. The second thing, TCS and NVIDIA together are going to train close to 6 lakh plus employees. Imagine this is almost training like a simple small town and these six lakh employees will come into the market and they create the talent pool for India to become the outsourcing center for artificial intelligence services. These technicalities are different and there are not too many people to capture these opportunities within the Indian market as of now. So this is going to change the face of the country. The third opportunity is with respect to manufacturing these electronic chips itself in the country. India is trying to become the electronics manufacturing hub of the world and NVIDIA has been manufacturing their chips in Taiwan for decades and they want an alternative as well with the changing geopolitical situations it's always important to have those alternatives. For NVIDIA this is a different value proposition. US government has put a lot of restrictions for NVIDIA in terms of for whom they can sell their chips versus for whom they cannot. Recently, a statement came out from the US government and also from NVIDIA stating that NVIDIA chips cannot be sold to a few West Asian countries. And this means NVIDIA cannot continue on the same business trajectory that they are on. Their stock price has almost doubled this year. And if their stock price has to continue going up, if they have to continue creating the value for their shareholders, they need to look out for these alternative markets. And what best than India? India and US together are calling as AI, America and Indian partnership. India as a country is becoming the next hub for the artificial intelligence services. Now, what are the business lessons that you and I can take away from this? 
Number one, this is not a one and done opportunity. This is a once in a generation opportunity. Rather than sitting on the fence and looking in as an outsider, we should potentially jump in. We need to capture the opportunity that is in front of us. Get started with a few small courses and understand the science behind the artificial intelligence. There is a fantastic website called deeplearning.ai. This is founded by a Stanford professor. And the short courses in this particular website are absolutely free of cost. Number two, the long courses available on this website are related to Coursera. And if you want to just audit them, you can do that for free. Well, you have access to all the content, just that you don't get that certificate. Number two, the implications of this artificial intelligence revolution is not going to be just only on the digital India. This is also going to be on the physical India as well. Because NVIDIA has recently released a 20 page document where it highlighted how these supercomputers, these GPUs can change the face of construction industries, the architects, the contractors and everybody involved in that ecosystem. If you still have any doubts with respect to the applicability of AI in the physical world, this document should put a check on that. You tell me, would you want to go ahead and capture this once in a lifetime opportunity? I would definitely do that. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.